This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says, what is the total area of these two squares? And they're contained in this semicircle with a diameter of 16 units. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. The first thing, I don't see anything defining where these squares are located, so it really could be any of these scenarios. So whatever work we do should work for any one of those scenarios. So let's see if we can figure this out. First, let's call the sides of this square X and the sides of this square Y. And the question is asking, what is the total area of these two squares? So we're trying to figure out what is X squared plus Y squared. So let's leave this alone and copy down a new one. Let's focus on this square first. So we'll put down the X's and let's draw the diagonal. The diagonal of any square is always square root of two times the side length. Here's the notes right here. So this will have a length of X square root of two. And you can prove that with Pythagorean theorem. If we call the diagonal D, it'd be X squared plus X squared equals D squared. Then you have two X squared equals D squared. Square root both sides and you get D is equal to root two X. And then we can do the same thing for the yellow square. The two side lengths of this square are Y, so the diagonal would end up being equal to Y root two. Next, let's figure out this angle inside here. Let's scoot these over. And this diagonal is gonna cut the 90 degree angle in half. So these will be two 45 degree angles. And I'm really interested in this one, not so much this one. And the same thing will happen here. This will cut the angle in half. So this will also be 45 degrees. And the 45 plus the 45 means the two diagonals will meet at 90 degrees. And if we focus on those diagonals and connect this from here to here, we now have a right triangle. Let's label the hypotenuse C and the two legs A and B. And now we can do Pythagorean theorem. We have A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, or in other words, X root two squared plus Y root two squared is equal to C squared. For this first term, the square is gonna go both to the X and the root, so we have X squared root two squared. And then the same thing for the second term, we'll have Y squared root two squared. And then on the right-hand side, we'll have C squared. So this square root and square will cancel each other out. And same thing, this square root and this square will cancel each other out. So we're going to be left with 2x squared plus 2y squared equals c squared. This looks important. Let's put a box around it. And we're not going to need this work anymore, nor will we need the diagonals. But let's leave the c right here. Next, let's find the center of the semicircle. From the center, let's connect this radius and this radius. And since the diameter is equal to 16, each of these radii will be equal to 8. So we're not gonna need the 16 anymore. Next, I wanna figure out what is this angle right here, and there's a really cool way to do this. First, we're gonna complete this circle, and then we're gonna reflect these two squares down here. From this intersection right here, let's connect this chord and this chord. These two chords of the circle contain the side of this square and the diagonal of this square. That means this right here is 45 degrees. This is an inscribed angle of this circle. And there's a special property. This arc is always double the inscribed angle. Here's the notes for that right here. If the angle is equal to A, the arc is equal to 2A, and that's true for all these angles. So if this inscribed angle is 45 degrees, the measure of this green arc is equal to 90 degrees. And there's another property of circles. This central angle is equal to the measure of the subtended arc. So since this is 90 degrees, this angle here is also 90 degrees. So the inscribed angle is always half the arc and the central angle is always the same as the arc. Let's change this 90 degrees and label it with a box. So now we have another right triangle. We can do Pythagorean theorem. It'll be eight squared plus eight squared is equal to C squared. Eight squared is equal to 64. Eight squared is equal to 64. And on the right-hand side, we have C squared. And 64 plus 64 is equal to 128. So we have 128 is equal to C squared. This also looks important. Let's put a box around it. And now we have two boxes that contain a C squared. Let's clean up everything and bring them up here. 2X squared plus 2Y squared equals C squared and 128 equals C squared. So we can set those equal to each other. We have 2X squared plus 2Y squared equals 128. And next let's divide everything by two. That'll give us X squared plus Y squared is equal to 64. And X squared plus Y squared is what we were trying to solve for. That is the area of the two squares. So the answer is 64 square units. Let's put a box around it. And that'll be true for all of these versions of this. In every single one of these scenarios, the area of the two squares is equal to 64 square units. 
How exciting. I think this problem is brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, let's talk about brilliant. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. And all of them are interactive, which is the most effective way to learn. I get asked all the time how to learn the skills to solve problems like the one in this video. And really, it just takes a lot of practice, and Brilliant is a great place to get that practice. All the steps we took in this video are covered in courses on Brilliant. They have tons of geometry and algebra courses. With enough practice, all these steps will come naturally when you're trying to solve a problem. If you want to try out Brilliant.org, they have a free 30-day trial. You can visit brilliant.org slash animath or click on the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. How exciting.